so let's start with our fifth session and uh, in this session we will look into uh, some of the options of informatica power center repository manager so i've just started the repository manager uh, let's just connect to the same folder tutorial okay so what we'll do is we will connect to the tutorial folder and we will able to see all the objects that we created previously sources targets mappings as well as well as workflows so we will export this workflow into an into a file xml file will be created and then we will import this same xml file into some other folder to see that uh, what uh, that either all of our source it target mapping and workflow is being copied in that folder also, as well or not so let's connect we have just connected to the wf underscore tutorial workflow and now we will export the object we will save with the same file yes it will export all the source definition target definition as well as the mapping and the workflow as the file is as the transformation and everything is very less numbers so it's exported very quickly we can also see the file as well so what we'll do is we'll open up the file and we will be able to see all our objects right this is the source the target first target second target the source qualifier object the expression transformation and so on so let's just move on to our main objective what we will do is uh, we will be connecting to the other folder and we will importing the same xml file which we just created into this folder to see the relevant changes browse we can select the same file next add all and we i will remove the session configuration press all objects have been selected and we will be able to see destination folder we will select the tutorial one next so this is basically the first method for, for copying all of our transformation into other destination folder so it's been copying uh, hopefully it will be end very soon because we have less number of objects in our transformation okay now it's inserting into the repository while deleting all the tasks and all objects have been updated done so now we will be connecting to this tutorial one folder see if all the objects exist or not okay so we can see all the sources targets and mappings in this folder as well sources targets and mappings if we open up we can we will be able to see the same mapping that we created in the tutorial folder okay so here router transformation expression transformation both of the targets okay good so here we covered the first method of copying uh, workflow file exporting the workflow file and then importing it uh, the second method is that we can directly copy the folder from one path to the other path let's see uh, what we'll do is we will go to the edit copy select the repository edit paste okay so now he and now the message display that tutorial of discovery repository will be copied into the destination folder so okay now we need to give a new name what we'll do is we will give give a new name tutorial 2 next we don't want to select this don't want any options what we'll do is uh, in this method it's basically directly copying the table information for one first metadata to the other metadata for example if the metadata is same right we are standing on the same repository server so is basically copying the metadata for one folder for, for the other folder as well we can also uh, 
take this option from one repository to other repository if they exist on the same server but if for example we have both repositories on separate server then we need to follow the first method in which we export the xml file and then we imported that so we are able to see all the table names which is being copied so don't confuse these are the metadata table names right okay at last when we will be able to copy this we will see our last option and in this we will be able to see the permission thing for any specific folder for example if you want to give the permission to any user for that specific folder then we can also define the permission as well you will see it and then our session will end okay so committing changes accessing the repository it will refresh the repository and we will we are able to see the tutorial folder too now we will also able to see all the objects that were present in tutorial folder itself so here we go and that's coming. okay for example if you want to set up the folder permissions we go in the folder tab edit here are the permissions you can give the permission to the user as well as to the group whole group as well so here ends the last session in which we covered the deployment things for and some play with the repository manager thank you